Okay, this is Sheila. It's my mother's birthday today. It's also would have been the anniversary, or is sort of the anniversary, of Georgia's marriage in 2015. She married, so that's well, that's eight years ago. And sadly, it's also the day that her best friend died in a car crash in 2018. Kate. It's also the day that my grandfather, Arthur Frederick Stibe, died. He died in 1962 on his daughter's birthday. My mum's, Matilda. Matilda Rosetta. I've got a feeling, I'm not sure. If Cousin Barbara died on this day as well, I'm not sure. So I can't say really. So I'm not sure about that, but I know she died. I think she died in 2018 as well. But I don't know if it was on the same day. That would be strange. Anyway, happy birthday to my mum. Who, if she was alive, she would be 111. If she was alive. She was 40 years older than me when she had me. <sighs> Happy birthday to my darling mother, who we loved so much. <sighs> she lost, not celebrate, don't think she celebrated her birthday, but her last birthday when she was alive was in 1966. And she was 54. She died December of that year on Boxing Day, age 54. Working in the bomb factory, poisoned her blood in the World War II. She never really got, sadly, so. She got a blood disorder from the chemicals that they used. Lots and lots of people were ill from there. Anyway, not to worry. She's in a happier place, hopefully, now. Yeah, happier place now. I often remember people, like my dead people, actually, when I might walk in. Um, like my sister Jude, she died in 2018. I often remember her, because she was a walker, you see. She loved walking, she loved being out. And I often feel her with me the most when I'm walking. So I don't even know if she did this, but she might have done, see? But I don't know, we never talked much, unfortunately. But I won't go into that now. So here we are, the start of the encampment. Whirlbury Woods, Whirlbury Hillfort. I can see no signs warning us about any cutting down. Because I think very soon they have to stop doing it because of the nesting season. But um, they have been busy chopping, axing, clearing. My crows have already sent out the word that I'm in the wood. They see me coming up the road. They know the camera. The camera makes a bit of a noise with its lid. They're sending out the word that Sheila's here. They don't normally come near me until I'm up further. And then I've brought some biscuits for them. Yeah, I've brought some biscuits. I've got a feeling they're supposed to be leaving this end of the wood alone because of the old yew trees, but I don't know. Nobody really knows what they're doing. Yeah, that's, I think that might be called Whirlbury Lodge, that house there. Lovely place to have views. Anyway, it's three weeks tomorrow that I broke my wrist, banged my head and cut my finger. And I'm still in a small plaster cast for another two weeks. Fingers 
still wrapped up. It's, it's okay, it's healed really well, but I keep it covered up for now. So I've got to try and wash my hair later. The plan is to go in Tesco's today and buy some cling film, lots of it, to wrap around my plaster cast and put rubber gloves on all sorts I'm going to do. Because my hair desperately needs washing, it's been a month. There's old sad looking Baron Bet Pier. Looks like they've done a lot of cleaning up though of the junk and the rubbish that was hanging about there. Just think I've been on that. I've walked all around that. I've been out on the jetty and everything in the past. But we didn't have mobile phones then. We didn't have... Well, we did, there were cameras, of course. Anyway, I'm just going to zoom in over to Flat Home. Um, it should come into view and there's a boat or a ship, whatever you want to call it, about to pass it. Could be a dredger. See? That's going out to Flat Home. That's going past Flat Home with its lighthouse, its Trinity lighthouse. And of course I went there in 2012 on the Westwood Ho boat. Lovely experience that was. Full of history of course. And of course then you've got the Burn Beck Pier down there. I've got a feeling someone said that the lifeboat might go back there. Because that used to be the lifeboat house there. And I've got a feeling they're going to get it back. There are plans. You can't do a lot on there, but I don't want it taken over by private people. I don't think that the private person should be allowed to build a block of flats on there. I don't. That should be for the people. Do you know what I mean? Anything for the council to make money though, innit? It's like they want to bloody build up here, I expect. That is my theory. <laughs> yeah, okay, of course the arche archaeologists go in first. They've even cut a few branches off that over the years, that one. And raked here. <sighs> yeah. Of course the archaeologists go in before there's a build. Some rich bar no, don't smash it. Some rich people will have big homes up here. They'll pay the money for the to the council for it. Even though this is ours. This hill fort belongs to the people. And there shouldn't be private houses up here, so we can't walk here anymore. I really think there's another agenda. I really do. I know it's supposed to be protected and all that. I haven't walked up this way for a while. Last time I came along here, I didn't have a broken arm. I've got to be careful. It's in plaster in there. I don't trip. See what I mean? Could break it again easily. So I'm taking, I'm slow because I'm really watching the ground. But here we are, everyone. Video one on the 20th of February, remembering my mum's birthday. My beautiful mother who left me when I was 14 in 1966. It's now 2023 and I haven't seen her for all those years. I think it's been like 57 years this year since I've seen my mother. <sighs> Terrible, isn't it? I was with her when she broke her hip in March 1966. And of course, once she left home, she had she wasn't well anyway, and breaking her hip was for a 54-year-old who wasn't well wasn't good for her. So when she came home many months later to stay for a couple of months before she had to go into hospital to die, our lives were never the same. Nope, never the same. I miss my mum still. I remember as a 14 year old and a child. I've never experienced her as an adult. I've never been able to have any conversations with her about family tree or nothing.
she used to tell me snippets, but of course I want, when you're a kid, you're not always listening. I've got to try and rake my brain for things that she told me. I'd love her, I would, if she was around now, I'd be asking her about Mary Ann Oak Brooks, my gatekeeper to the past, her grandmother. Anyway, I'm going to turn off and take a picture, folks, over and out for Do you now. know what, I video this particular walk so often over the years. You could go back 10 years and follow me on this identical walk when you couldn't see through there. That was a mass of shrub life and trees. Yeah, Sam Bay's waiting for a walk before the end of February. Got two. I've only got a week to get over there. Might be able to do it one day this week. I like to get over there at least once a month, but of course, breaking my arm is. Uh, really put me behind with me walks, especially with the season of the non-cow. That'll be over now, nearly. I would have thought some of my walks would be not possible now. I don't mind missing out for a year or so, mind, on some of those, because I did do them too much on a regular basis. I've got other places I want to explore over Congress Freeway, which I've already explored a little bit, but I haven't been in the wood over there yet. So, but I'll always be coming up here. Yeah, those crows. As soon as I leave the wood in a minute and enter the open space, my crows will appear. Through there you can see Sambay. Over there, look. I haven't done, I don't do the end so much in the winter anyway, because it's slippery and I wouldn't risk doing the end bit till my arm's repaired. No, I won't do it. I won't take any risks whatsoever, just the main paths. So, they're, they're clearing all down there as well, by the way. Down there, you can't see from here, but I walked down the path the other week and I saw all the work they'd done down there. All the lovely vegetation being stripped bare. Yeah, I mean this. You, you, this is unbelievable, really, because, like you say, if you saw my videos, say five, six years ago, at least that, or four, even four, maybe, this was thick. You couldn't see across there. They're chopping and hacking all the time. Look, everywhere you look, there's fresh hacking all the time. Can't see anybody today. I walked the other side. When I was last up here, a bit I did a bit over there. But see all this, it's all cleared. Apparently they're leaving white beam, which is a very small tree. A skinny, they're all skinny, these uh, ones are leaving. I mean, I wonder if they're going to cut that great big one there down, for example. <coughs> Hope not. But of course, like what, how they recruit people, they say, look, you're working for the community. This is archaeology. You see? I'm, I am surprised there aren't more people, really, that haven't supported the wood. But of course, they'll say, well, we're only doing this bit. Yeah. There's my crows. Yeah, you've appeared. Hey? Just turned up, waiting for foodies. I seen you watch me earlier. It's me and I'm gonna feed the crows in a minute, so I've got to get the food out. There's that lovely tree, look. I've been taking photos of that for years. And in the snow. We don't get snow anymore. Global warming's hit. Everyone. Hello, hello Crowy. You want some foodies? Hey, eh? alright, so let me just get up here a bit. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute, Crowy. Or Raven or whatever you are. So I'm just doing a little bit of video. Unrecognizable folks. Well zoom in. 
got all the trees that have been removed. See that? That's the stones. You never ever could see them from here. This is since I was up here last. A week or so ago. You can now see how much they've uh, taken. I, re I don't know if they're doing any more now because what it is, it's the... Um, I can see people around. What it is now, it's the um, nesting season, I think, starts soon. I can't see no... Uh, I can't... God, they've done loads. The clearers will be laughing their heads off, won't they? Want some more I'm feeding the crows a few times. Come on, yeah. Come on, Crowy. Come on. Come on. Come on, Crowy. Come on. Yeah. There ain't much left. You've got it all. <laughs> 